solar a scam? Hey, a homeowner, this is Rich from Solar Microscope. I help educate homeowners like you so you can look at solar under the microscope to see if it's a good fit for your home to save money. Now, I personally don't sell solar. I'm not going to give you a sales pitch here, but I have educated through my advertising company about two and a half billion people. So what about this? You know, many homeowners assume that solar panels are a scam. It's just like immediate. They say, oh, it's a scam operation. But is that really accurate? You know, millions of homeowners in America have utilized solar panels for their home over the last several years. Now, if it was a scam, the government would have intervened and shut it down. Like the Federal Trade Commission or the Department of Justice would have came in and just shut down solar from being offered. But instead, the government is actually incentivizing homeowners to utilize solar instead, giving tax credits and other financial benefits. So clearly there's no scam happening. So it's conspiracy theory to think that solar is a scam. But the fact remains that some people, a very small percentage of those millions, have not had desirable results from getting solar. So why is that? What you need to look out for to make sure you don't have a bad experience with solar is the following thing. So the first and most important thing is making sure you're working with a trustworthy and reliable solar professional who has a track record of successful installations and happy clients. Asking the solar professional to speak to references is a great way to know if they've done good work for others. Unfortunately, solar sales is not regulated, so it's possible to get a bad apple salesperson who's not being fully transparent. That's why it's important to watch all my videos on this channel so you can be more educated before looking into getting a solar quote. Now, with any sales profession, there are going to be people who have commission breath and are not looking to help you, but are really just looking to find a way to take advantage and make a quick sale. That is true in solar as it is in any industry. Insurance, cars, doesn't matter. Sales is just known for that. But one key thing that usually separates a true solar educator or consultant from a sketchy sales rep is that they're upfront about the fact that solar may not be a good fit for your home. There are so many factors that go into whether your home is ideal for solar, such as number one, the angle of your roof. Number two, the directions the panel will face compared to the sun's rotation around your home. Number three, how much energy you consume on an annual basis. Number four, how strong the panels are. And number five, whether you should get a battery backup system or not. Now, if you have a feeling in your gut that a salesperson's not being fully transparent, then it's best to get another quote and compare the proposals. Also, you wanna choose an installation company that has done at least 300 to 500 installs within a 500 mile radius of you or in your state at large. This is important because solar companies sometimes go out of business and you want to choose a company that will be around for the long haul. Now, comparing reviews online is not really the best indicator of whether you will have a successful solar installation. It's important to remember that solar companies that have had more installs have also had more of a potential for bad experiences. It may not be that the solar company did a bad job, but that the salesperson did. Maybe they sold solar to someone who it really wasn't a fit for. This is changing now with many solar companies making sure and double checking that the salespeople are doing the right thing. But in the past, it hasn't always been regulated. Now, it's important to ask your consultant or sales representative if your solar design was made by a NAB CEP certified solar engineer. That's N-A-B-C-E-P, the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. That's the most respected, well-established, and widely recognized certification organization for professionals in the field of renewable energy. You also want to make sure that a decent warranty is negotiated with your solar professional to protect you against any potential hiccups down the road. Well, I hope you received value from this video and have learned that solar panels for your home is not a scam, but you have to be careful when reviewing your options and just make sure that it's the right fit for your home before you buy them. Now, many of the problems which have come from bad solar experiences have been direct results of salespeople lacking honesty and integrity. Like I said, I don't sell solar, but I do have access to a network of reliable independent solar contractors that I can connect you with if you'd like to get a customized solar proposal for your home. I've triple verified every solar installation company and consultant on our platform to ensure that you have the best experience. They can tell you what the numbers look like for your personal scenario and your finances and exactly how much you could potentially save between $100 to $200 per month or more with solar at no cost up front to you. If you'd like to learn more, just go to solarmicroscope.com. Uh, there might be a link up here. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and watch all of our other videos so you can get better educated before you get solar and decide if it's for you. You'll know the right questions to ask when the solar professional comes to your house and you'll know exactly if you're making the right decision. So till next time, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on another video. Take care.